Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carl, and we're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to two of our newest subscribers to our YouTube channel. I want to give a shout out to Chris Lucas and Chris Bowie. Two Chris's, Chris Lucas and Chris Bowie. Thank you very much for subscribing to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're at 777 subscribers. Still at that lucky 777 number. Uh, again, thank you everybody that has hit that subscribe button really appreciate it okay we found out yesterday that roxy ring of honor women's champion roxy is coming to impact wrestling to face diana perrazzo uh when we're not sure we're going to find out soon but this was announced by um by the ace man uh last night uh, before the impact so roxy coming to impact wrestling to face off with uh, Deanna Prazo. As we know, Deanna Prazo confronted her at uh, Ring of Honor Final Battle uh, and challenged her to a winner-take-all match should she defeat Mickey James for the Impact Wrestling Knockouts Championship. We all know she's going to defeat Mickey James for the Knockouts Championship. Otherwise, she wouldn't have made the challenge. <laughs> but we know that uh, she's going to win. She's, she's definitely going to beat Mickey James, uh, but she's also the AAA uh, Reina, the Reina's champion. So it's a winner take all match uh, between the two. Whoever wins gets all three titles, and um, it's uh, it's going to be a great match when it happens. But on um, on another note, I really think that Impact Wrestling should, without a doubt, do whatever they can to sign Roxy. <clears throat> excuse me, to a um, to a long term deal. Roxy, twenty twenty one years old. She has the potential to be one of the great, great professional wrestlers of all time, in my opinion. She's very, very, very talented. And um, it, it, I think it will be absolute fantastic get for Impact Wrestling if they're able to sign Roxy, uh, who, who, again, only 20, 21 years old, to a three, four-year deal. I think it will be fantastic. Um, I mean, there, there's uh, besides Deanna Prazo, there's so many potentially great matchups for her in Impact Wrestling right now. I think Roxy versus Masha Slamovich would be a great feud. Roxy against Lady Frost would be a great feud. Roxy against Madison Rain would be a great match. Roxy going after the Inspiration, uh, finding a tag team partner and challenging the Inspiration uh, would be um, would be a great match. The influence. There's so many potentially great, great uh, matchups for Roxy. And again, her age is just 21 years old. And she has all this talent. She's so talented. Ring of Honor Women's Champion at at, at um, 21 years of age, and uh, just the. The, the potential she has is just just fantastic and impact wrestling needs to jump on that and it's it's exciting that she's making an appearance in impact wrestling um hopefully it'll be more than just a one-off um be a couple of appearances i don't know if it's just to, I, I think she's coming in i think the match is going to take place on impact wrestling so it's not going to happen until after hard to kill uh when diana Prazo defeats mickey james for the knockouts championship we all know that's going to happen um and so it, it and it can't happen it can't happen before for January 22nd because uh, Roxy has, um, is booked for an MLW. Well, I guess it could. I guess it could. Uh, I don't know if it would affect that, but she has an MLW. Uh, she's taking on Miranda Gordy uh, at... Um, is it Miranda Gordy? If I got the name wrong, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, she's taking on Terry Gordy's, Terry Gordy's daughter uh, at, um, at the MLW's uh, Dallas show, um, making her debut there. So she's booked for that, uh, but uh, Impact Wrestling, they, they should do whatever they need to do to bring um, to bring Roxy. I mean, they, they've done made some great, great signings lately with uh, Masha Slamovich. I mentioned her already. Lady Frost, they brought in uh, tremendous talent. If they brought in Roxy, that knockouts division, it's it's the best women's division of professional wrestling right now. It'll just even be better than that. And I know AEW, they have their eyes on Roxy, uh, but AEW, they're just they're signing everybody. I think if, if Roxy went to AEW, uh, she would um fall into and I no disrespect here, but she would uh she would go the the same route that Kira Hogan is is going right now. Kira Hogan 
hardly even uh, on AEW anymore. I don't don't recall the last time I she may have been on Dark or one of the Dark shows, but I can't recall the last time she was on AEW um, unless I completely missed it. And I know she's expressed frustration uh, at the way she's being booked, um, that she's being overlooked. Um, I think that's what would happen to Roxy as well if she went to AEW. I, I think uh, AEW with with all the signings they're making, a lot of a lot of uh, really really good talent is getting lost in the shuffle, and I think that's what would happen to Roxy. And I don't think she wants that to happen um, right now, especially uh, at twenty twenty one years of age. She's either twenty or twenty one at her at her young age. Uh, she doesn't want to get lost in the shuffle. She wants people to notice her, and if she went to Impact Wrestling, people would start to notice her immediately because uh, she. She would uh she would not get lost in the shuffle in impact wrestling she would um basically rise to the top and i could see her with the impact wrestling uh, women's uh impact wrestling knockouts title in the uh in the in the near future without a doubt she's she's definitely capable of um of representing impact wrestling as their knockouts champion uh but I, I would love to see them sign Roxy. Uh, and as you know her contract is basically over with a uh, ring of honor she's free agent can sign anywhere and uh impact wrestling come on let's uh let's get roxy on the roster i think um she will be a tremendous tremendous addition to the impact wrestling knockouts roster okay um one more thing i want to point out here there was an article uh, i need to call somebody out here uh comic book um comicbook.com connor casey puts up a uh, he wrote an article AEW seven free agents who might arrive at winter is coming or holiday bash. So these are seven free agents that Connor Casey of comicbook.com uh, feels might be showing up at winter is coming or holiday bash. I'm not going to read all the free agents because they're all free agents except one. And um, the one that I'm calling him out on is for some reason he's, he, this guy Connor Casey at comicbook.com thinks Deanna Perrazzo is a free agent and he's on, she's on the list uh, of his uh, top free agents that AEW should be looking at or could be debuting for AEW soon. Uh, dear uh, Connor Casey, unless you're not, uh, uh, first of all, Connor Casey, <laughs> you need to do a little research, buddy, before you write an article uh, because um, he, he mentions here that Deanna Perrazzo showed up at, uh, at, um, at, um, Ring of Honor's um, final battle to challenge uh, Roxy. Uh, and he mentions the Forbidden Door as well. Uh, but do a little research because Deanna Perrazzo is not a free agent. Deanna Perrazzo is signed to Impact Wrestling. Okay, so before you write an article um, on the top free agents that you feel could be debuting for Impact for um, AEW soon, do a little research and find out if if these wrestlers are actually signed to contracts because Deanna Perrazzo is signed to Impact Wrestling. Okay, uh, if you're going to write an article, if you want to be a respected journalist or whatever, do do a little research before you write an article, because uh, um, you're going to get called out on it, like you're getting called out right now. Um, there, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So Connor Casey, uh, next time you write an article, make sure you do thorough, thorough uh, research before you write an article. Okay, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for listening to me, for watching me today, actually. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, Fortunately, I have to head off to work, but I'll be back. Uh, anything breaks, I'll be back later today. But until then, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. And stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.